Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evelina Mane, Lady of the Realm. And this one you well, actually, this is more of a rant. And this is not about a specific sort of thing, but, um, I don't understand why. People like Trish, Trish Paytas, she is also known as Trisha Groundhouse Barbie Paytas here on YouTube, has over 365 thousand and six subscribers when she makes videos as the following and you will hear it's going to be somewhat of a fun event because often I get asked Trisha do you have a fun event and I don't have a fun event because I'm sort of a sexual person so I have more of what I like to call a to-do list and on the top of that to-do list are Mormon I want to so I have this previous video, girls that I go lesbian for and gay that want to bang. So now I think it's only appropriate to do to my next favorite species, and that is Mormons. Mormons I want to bang. And on the top of that list, straight up, is my favorite Mormon ever, Mr. Johnny Osmond. Mr. Johnny Osmond, I always give credit for helping me get puberty. Yes, at just 13 years old, I met Johnny Osmond, and I just trembled all over. I remember seeing him when I was 12. And I watched Joseph and the Indian Tennis Cards and I'm eating that. And this boy class, chest was shaved, he had these pecs and his face. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. That is when I knew I wanted to have sex, even when I didn't know what. Yeah. Sorry, I had to do that. Mega gag saying, but I'm sorry, folks. What is it about Trish that is so interesting? Because she goes throughout the rest of the video, and just so you don't think I'm making it up, I'm going to actually go to that point in the video. Okay. As you know, I'm a Christian, and even though I watch things like The Amazing Atheist, I mean, sorry, people, people, such as The Amazing Atheist, and Mr. Epsilon, and heck, Undertaker Freak 1127, and they have a tendency to be a little bit offensive towards the Christianity, this is the ultimate offensiveness. And it's not even just towards us Christians, it's towards everybody. Everyone gets the ugly slap. Yeah, we all got hit with the ugly stick, but the Mormons get the, oh, you are just perfect. Now, I know she's talking towards Eckhart, but I still find it offensive. I mean, there's some men out there who I find, oh my god, a awesome, amazing, I will probably tell you more about it, but I won't go into it at this point, but, I'm sorry. I have had it. I have been watching Jeannie, Trish, for the last, 
I'll say a few months. Do I plan on subscribing for her? No. Only because there are times where she has intelligent things to say. This just happens to be one of those videos that just... Ah! And I'm sure you've heard from Mr. Repsion his one of his complaints. And that was, oh yeah, wasn't it about uh, black men and you know, penis sizes and you know, women and how they can handle that whole thing. Yeah. Sorry, but and he mentioned how racist it was. Turns out uh, white men happen to have uh, I guess those found people, white men in Germany happen to have uh, bigger penises. I don't know if that's entirely true, or even those separate people have them, but still, Trish, why? Why does that have to be the dumbest thing you ever say on YouTube? I mean, I say stupid things now and then, I'm not perfect, and but that's what this rant is. I just don't understand. How can someone be so freaking freaking stupid? Okay? I don't understand stupidity from some people. I think she's actually a very brilliant person at times. As, um, but, I'm sorry. Stupidity is stupidity is stupidity. Okay? Just, why? Why, my lass? Why? Okay. Why would you say such a thing? I mean, I know you're not intending, intending to offend me, per se. And I'm not mad that you don't find some people of my race or my religion, Christianity, to be attractive. Because this is your list of Mormons. Just like if I did a list of really hot redheads and happened to not mention anyone who was on one of your TV shows or something. Would I expect you to get mad? Not necessarily. And hell, if, if you're that upset about it, why do I continue to watch? Mostly because, like I said, you say intelligent things sometimes. You really do. You do say smart things. I do continue to watch you, but, oh my freaking god. I'm, and sometimes I think I forget that I'm subscribed to you. I really do. Mostly because it's like anything else you subscribe to. Sometimes you go, ah, okay, well, I don't know why I'm subscribed to this person, but apparently at one point or another they did something I like, so I went, I just clicked the mouse and just did whatever. But if it teaches me anything, I'm going to be real careful in the future of who I subscribe to, regardless of what's going on. It just shocks me, okay? Hey folks, it just shocks me at times when she says stupid things. And I'm sure I can find other videos of her saying stupid things, but that's like the dumbest thing that she said recently. And that's why I wanted this rant. I wanted to be able to just... Ah, why? Why would you do it? Why? Okay, just... Why? Anyway, this is Evelina Malley, and please check me out on my Tumblr, my fanfic, my WordPress, and my Twitter, and have a good night, folks.